Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make your very own mermaid. Measuring at approximately 50 centimetres long, this is a perfect homemade gift for a little one. Before we get started, we'll need some stuffing, a pair of scissors, 4mm crochet hook, a sewing needle, 8mm safety eyes and a stitch marker. You'll need yarn for the skin, the bra, the bracelet, the hair, the tail, the eyes and the lips. So let's get started. First we're going to create a magic ring and put four single crochets into that magic ring. We're now going to single crochet in each stitch. We're now going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. And then the single crochet in the next. And we'll do that one more time. So two single crochets in the next stitch. And single crochet in the next. And now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. And now we're going to single crochet in the next two. And then we'll just repeat that. If like me you found your work has turned inside out, take this opportunity to turn it the white way round and you'll be working clockwise from now on. Okay, we're now going to do two single crochets on the next stitch. Then single crochet in the next three. And we'll do that one more time. We're now going to do three single crochets in the next stitch. And then a single crochet in the next four. Okay, and we'll do that again. And now we're going to do three single crochets on the next stitch. And then single crochet in the next six. And then we'll do that again. Okay, and now we're going to do three single crochets on the next stitch. And then we're going to single crochet in the next eight. And then we'll do that again. Okay, and now we're going to do three single crochets in the next stitch. Then we'll single crochet in the next 10. Okay, 
And we'll do that one more time. And now we're going to do three single crochets in the next stitch. And then single crochet in the next 12. And then we'll do that again. And now we're going to do three single crochets in the next stitch. And then a single crochet in the next 14. And we'll do that again. Now we're going to decrease and we're going to single crochet two together. And then single crochet in the next 14. And now we're going to single crochet two together and then a single crochet in the next 16. Now we're going to single crochet two together, single crochet in the next 13, now we're going to single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next 15. We're now going to single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next 12. And now we're going to single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next 14. Okay, we're now going to single crochet three together. And now single crocheting in the next 10. And 
Okay, and now we're going to single crochet three together. And then single crochet in the next 12. We're now going to single crochet three together. And now single crochet in the next 10. And now we're going to single crochet three together. And then single crochet in the next 12. And now we're going to single crochet three together. And then single crochet in the next eight. And now single crochet three together. And then single crochet in the next 10. Okay, we're now going to single crochet three together. And then single crochet in the next six. Okay, I'm going to single crochet three together. And single crochet in the next eight. Okay, and now we're going to single crochet two together. Single crochet in the next five. And then single crochet two together. And single crochet in the next seven. Okay, so we're gonna make two of these and the first one we'll tie off and leave a long strand of yarn. And for the second, we'll keep the yarn attached and then we can join the two flippers together and then we'll work up around to make the tail. Continuing on with the second flipper, we'll single crochet in the next five. Okay, and we're now going to join the two flippers with a single crochet two together, so we'll insert and yarn over and pull through and then with the th first flipper we'll find that last stitch on the edge there we'll insert our hook yarn over and then we'll pull through those three loops and then we'll continue and single crochet in the next 12 Okay, and then we're going to join the flippers again with a single crochet two together. 
So in the last stitch of the first flipper and the next stitch of the second flipper. Okay, and now we'll yarn over and pull through the three loops and then we'll single crochet in the next seven. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet in the next four. We're going to single crochet three together. We're going to single crochet in the next 10. Okay, and then we're going to single crochet three together. And then single crochet in the next six. Okay, we're just going to pause our work here. And with the excess yarn from the first flipper, we're just going to use it to sew in the top of each flipper. Okay, just diagonally across the top of each. And by doing this, when we stuff the tail later, it will stop the stuffing going into the flippers. Okay, we're going to continue and single crochet in the next three. And now we're going to single crochet three together. And then single crochet in the next eight. And now single crochet three together. And single crochet in the next five. Now we're going to single crochet in the next two. Single crochet three together. And then single crochet in the next six. And now single crochet three together. And single crochet in the next four. Okay, now we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, we're now going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. And then single crochet in the next six. Okay, 
And we'll do that one more time. Now in the next two rows we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch, single crochet in the next seven, And we'll do that one more time. Okay, in the next two rows, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next eight okay and we'll do that again Now for the next two rows we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next nine. Okay, and then we'll do that again. And now for the next two rows, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. And then single crochet in the next ten. Okay, and we'll do that again. And for the next two rows, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch, and then single crochet in the next seven. And we'll do that three times in total. And for the next two rows, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Now 
Now I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next eight and we'll do that three times We're now going to single crochet in each stitch. Now I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next nine. And we'll do that three times. Now we're going to single crochet in each stitch. I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next ten we'll do that three times Now we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. We're going to single crochet in the next five. And we'll do that six times. Now we'll single crochet in each stitch. Now do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next six and we'll do that six times. Okay, so for the next three rows, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, now we'll pause our work and we'll start stuffing the tail. We've put our stitches in, so that will stop the stuffing getting into the flippers. So if you just start packing the tail in and stuff as you go. Okay, we're now going to single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next six okay, 
and we'll do that six times. Okay, so for the next two rows, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, we're going to single crochet two together. And then single crochet in the next five. And we'll do that six times. Okay, and we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Now we're going to single crochet two together. And then single crochet in the next four. And we'll do that six times. Okay, now we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so now in the front loops only, we're going to single crochet. We're then going to chain two. We're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And we're going to do this 30 times. So we're going to go single crochet into the next front loop. We'll chain two. Then single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then we'll just continue all the way round. Okay, as the last one, we'll find the next stitch and we'll just put a slip stitch in there and we'll tie off our work. Okay, so in peach yarn, we're going to create a slip knot and then we're going to join in to the back loops left over from the last row. Around there. Okay. And we're going to single crochet two together. And then we'll single crochet in the next eight. And we'll do that three times. And we're now going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, and now we're going to single crochet two together. 
and then single crochet in the next seven. And we'll do that three times. And now for the next five rows, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, now in the last stitch, we're going to change our yarn to pink. And then we'll just continue around and single crochet in each stitch in pink. Okay, so now in the front loops, we're going to single crochet in the next stitch, and then chain three. We'll single crochet in the second chain from the hook. We're then going to skip a stitch, and then single crochet in the next stitch, and we'll do that 12 times. So single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then we'll skip that stitch and repeat. Okay and as you can see we're just making this frill effect for underneath the bralette as you can see. So on this last one that we're going to do, we're just going to join in that first initial stitch. Okay, we're going to continue and we'll go into the back loops of row 52 and we'll single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so now we're going to go into the front loops and we're going to half double crochet in each stitch. Okay, and then in the last stitch we're just going to slip stitch and then we'll tie off. Okay, so now we're going to find the back loops from row 53 and in peach yarn we're going to create a slip knot and then we'll continue in peach yarn. So join on with a single crochet and then single crochet in 13 Okay, and now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. We're going to single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochets in the next stitch. We're going to single crochet in the next three. Now two single crochets in the next stitch. single crochet in the next, 
two single crochets in the next stitch. And then single crochet in the next two. Okay, and we're going to continue on and the next two rows we're just going to single crochet in each stitch. We're now going to single crochet in the next 13. And now we'll single crochet two together. We'll single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet two together. Single crochet in the next three. Single crochet two together. Single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet two together and single crochet in the next two. We're now going to single crochet in the next 11. Then we'll single crochet two together and then a single crochet in the next nine. And then we'll single crochet two together. Okay, we're now going to single crochet three together. And then we'll single crochet in the next six. Okay, and then we'll single crochet three together. And then we'll single crochet in the next ten. We're now going to single crochet two together, single crochet in the next four, and we'll do that three times. Single crochet two together single crochet in the next three and we'll do that three times okay we're now going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch. We'll do that six times. And now we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to do two single crochets in the next two stitches.
Okay, we're now going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next four. And we'll do that six times. In the next six rows, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch. We're now going to single crochet in the next 28. Okay, so we'll find ourselves in the center of the head now. We're going to make the nose with a bubble stitch. So this is all going to be in the one stitch. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to insert our hook through the next stitch, we're going to yarn over and pull through, you've got three loops in the hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through two of the loops. We're going to yarn over, insert into that same stitch, and yarn over and pull through, you're now going to pull through two of the loops in the hook. So we're going to yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through two. There should be seven loops on the hook, that's what we want to get to. I think that's seven there. We're now going to yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. Okay, we'll finish off the row by single crocheting in the next seven. So for the next two rows we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, we'll pause our work here and we're just going to sew the mouth on at this stage. Now I'm just doing a knot and I've double layered this one. Gives you a thicker lip. I'm just going to do a very slight smile. Okay, so we're now going to single crochet in the next four. Now we're going to single crochet two together. And we'll do that six times. We're now going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, we're now going to single crochet in the next four. And then single crochet two together. And we'll do that five times.
And now we're going to single crochet in the next three. And then we'll single crochet two together. And we'll do that five times. Okay, so we can now insert our safety eyes. So we'll count back 78, 77, 76, 75, 74. So between 75 and 74, we'll place our safety eyes. We want to do them about five or six stitches apart. I think that's about four stitches, so we'll move them out slightly. But it's up to you where you want to put them but I like them a little bit further apart. Okay, so now for the whites of the eye and the colour of the eye, we'll tie the white and the blue together, like so, and then we're going to come up through the hole with the safety eye in. And we want to angle it so that the white yarn is on the outside and the blue is close to the safety eye. So we're going to go in through the stitch just above the safety eye. Okay, we're going to pull that through gently. There's a lot of trial and error with this, so give yourself some credit, it is very tricky. Okay, and then once you're happy with the positioning, you can use your sewing needle to help you just push that in place. And then we'll put the backs of the eye on once you're happy with the work, and then we'll just tie off the yarn to secure our work. As I said it is very fiddly but hopefully you'll get something like this. Okay so we're now going to change the yellow yarn in that last stitch of row 78. And now we're in the front loops, we're going to single crochet. And then we're going to chain 31. Depending on the length of the hair, you can chain as much as you like. But I'll do 31 because we're going to try and do nice long straight hair for this mermaid. Now we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then single crochet in each chain all the way down to the end. And so now we'll go into the front loop, single crochet, and then we'll do that 20 times all the way round to create the braids. And that is the straight strand that you're trying to get. If you wanted curls, then you'll do two single crochets in each chain and then the chain will naturally start to spiral as you go. Okay, so we'll continue with the straight hair. Now in the back loops, we will single crochet two together, and then we'll single crochet in the next two. You can continue in yellow yarn here, or you can go in peach. I think I've done peach for this one, but I'll continue in yellow afterwards. Okay, you can do that five more times and we'll start to slowly close the head. Okay, in this last stitch we'll join with yellow again, or if you've already used yellow we'll carry on. And then we'll do the same as before, single crochet in the front loops, and then we'll chain 31, single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and we'll do that all the way round again in the front loops. We'll do that 15 times. So now in the back loops, we're going to single crochet two together and 
and then single crochet in the next one and we'll do that five times Okay, and again, we'll add some more strands, a single crochet, chain 31, and then single crocheting back in all of those, and we'll do that 10 more times all the way round. Okay, so now we're in the back loop, so we're just going to single crochet two together about five or six times just until that is closed. It's also the last time that you can stuff the head, so if you need to stuff a bit more, please do. Okay, so we're now just going to tie off, leaving a long strand because we're going to use that yarn to now secure the hair to the head. Okay, so with a hairband or an elastic band, we'll just separate the hair from the first row of hair. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to pull it down straight and then with each individual strand just secure it into the head not all the way down but just into the top part and it just stops the hair flying around so the best thing to do is stick a film on or get a TV series and then just start sewing Okay, so we don't want to sew the front parts yet because we're going to use those to style at the end. So once you've secured the rest of those, we'll go on to the second row of hair. Okay, again, we'll separate the front strands and we'll just tie those up and get them out of the way. And then we'll just continue to sew the second row of strands in the head. Once that's done, the last bit of hair will separate the front strands from the back strands. We'll just sew the back part first into the head. Okay, and now for the front, we're just going to hide that hairline where you can see the stitches just by bringing those strands forward and then sewing them into place so you've got a nice neat hairline and now with these three strands on each side we'll just do a plait and once that's done we'll sew that into the head too so we'll do that on each side And there we have our blonde beauty. 
So now with our pink yarn already on a slip knot on the hook, we're going to find the centre and continue with the bra. We'll count across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to go in the seventh, seventh stitch across from the centre. And we'll slip knot, sorry, we'll slip stitch and join on there. Go to chain two. We're then going to half double crochet in the next stitch. We'll chain one, skip a stitch, then repeat half double crochet in the next stitch. We'll chain one skip a stitch and half double crochet in the next. We'll then chain two. We're going to turn our work, so turn the mermaid 180 and then we'll do what is called a feather stitch to make the bra. So there are three points of reference, the first gap, the stitch beneath it and then the second gap. So we're going to yarn over, insert through the first gap, we yarn over and then pull through. We're going to yarn over, insert into the stitch underneath, yarn over and pull through. And then we're going to again yarn over, insert into the next gap, yarn over, pull through. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops on the hook. We'll then chain one, we'll then continue. So we're going to yarn over, insert in through that gap there, the first gap. We're going to yarn over, go through the stitch just below it, yarn over, pull through. We're going to yarn over and go into the next gap. Yarn over and pull through. You should do seven loops on the hook. Pull through all seven loops. Okay, we're going to chain two. We'll turn our work again. Okay, so I've got the first gap, gap beneath it, and then the second gap just there. So we're going to yarn over, insert through that gap there, yarn over, find the gap beneath it, yarn over, and then go into the gap which is just on the side there, yarn over, and pull through. With seven loops on the hook, we're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops. Okay, we're now going to tie off. Okay, with the slip knot again, we're going to do the second cup, count two across, and in that third stitch we'll join with a slip stitch. Now this is going to be a sped up version of the first cup, so if you wanted to rewind the video and watch it from there, and I'll meet you back here when it's all done. And now we'll tie off again. And then we'll sew the end strands in through the bodice, weaving in those ends and sewing in the cup. Now for the last part we're going to do the arms. So we're going to create a magic ring and put six single crochets into that magic ring.
We're now going to do two single crochets on the next stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. And we'll do that three times. Now we're going to single crochet in each stitch. We're now going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next two. And we'll do that three times. We'll now single crochet in each stitch. Now for the next four rows we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch, single crochet in the next five, and then we're going to single crochet two together, and then we'll single crochet in the next four. So we'll do that again for three more rows. We're now going to single crochet in each stitch. We're now going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. And then single crochet in the next five. And we'll do that two times. Okay, so now in the back loops only, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. So now for the next 17 stitches, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch. Now after these 17 rows, we'll continue with the shoulder. So we'll single crochet two together three times. We'll then single crochet in the next seven. chain one, turn our work, we'll single crochet in the next eight, and then we'll chain one, turn our work, now we'll single crochet two together four times, We're going to chain one, turn our work, and then we're going to slip stitch in the next four. OK, 
Okay, and then we're just going to tie it off. Okay, so now we're going to return to row 12 where we've left our front loops and we're just going to add a little bracelet in. So with gold yarn or silver yarn, whatever you fancy, we're going to slip knot and we'll join with a single crochet and then we'll chain two and then single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And we'll repeat that single crochet in the next stitch. Chain two. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And we'll do that about 14 times all the way round. Okay, now we'll just join with a single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll tie it off. And we'll just weave in those ends. Now we're going to make the second arm, but this time we're not going to do the bracelet, so we'll just single crochet from 12 to 29. And then we're going to add a little detail in the second arm. So in the same yarn that you used for your tail, we're going to slip knot and then just chain 40 to 50, just tightly chain all the way to the end. Once you've done that, tie off. And we're just going to arrange this as like a little band around the upper arm, okay, in this sort of position. Once you've got that the way you want it, we'll just sew that into the arm. Okay, and once they're ready, we'll sew them into the body. And there you have your very own mermaid. Just by changing the colour of the tail, the skin tone, or even the style of hair, you can make a whole pod or gossip of mermaids. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and remember to like and subscribe as I'll be making many more large toy tutorials in the coming months, and you'll be notified when I do. You can also follow me on Instagram at Karina Jane Crochet to see what I'm making and some of my up and coming projects. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here soon.